हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर टॉप ओ सेंट टूल्स फॉर पेंट टेस्टिंग सीरीज सो दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड टू पार्ट वेयर वी हैव कवर्ड ट्वेंटी टूल्स दैट आर वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर द पर्स पीपल्स दोज वाई इन टू पेंट टेस्टिंग एंड इन्वेस्टिगेशन सो अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू दिस वीडियो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंक्लूड दिस सीरीज ऑफ बेस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ओ सेंट टूल्स यूज बाई इन्फोसेट प्रोफेशनल्स एंड इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स सो दीज आर द टूल्स दैट वी हैव कवर्ड इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो we have covered uh, osi nt framework which is one of the best uh, thing that we had till now second check username we have covered we have covered how to investigate a username then we have covered how we can investigate about a uh, email id this is related to email data breaches then we have covered about security files api uh, you can consider it as a domain based investigation next is census which is related to iot another is domain based investigation thing webalizer next thing is the bap of all investigation google doc you can say after that we have discussed about maltego maltego is basically a information gathering tool then we have discussed about recon ng recon ng base was basically something for the domains then we have discussed about harvester for the mail ids then after that we have gone through with sodan which is iot search engine Uh, which is used for the surveillance and a lot more things then we have gone through with jigsaw and then we have covered spider foot which is also one of the very important thing then we have gone through with creepy for geo mint geo intelligence then we have gone through with the network stuffs and map then we have con- uh, considered web sang then open vas then fears then unicorn scan and then foca so these are the thing that we have covered in our first and second video if you have still not watched the first and second video of this part then you can just check it out in our playlist ocean trivial now we are going to uh, uh, continue with the rest five tools that we are going to discuss and these are very important as well so just stay with me till the last of this video okay so our today's tool is zoom i so most probably some of you knows about zoom i and most probably most of you doesn't know about zoom i so basically in cyber security world or investigation world we researchers we investigator used to popular iot search engine such as sodan or census for a while however a powerful new iot search engine has been rapidly gaining followers yes we are talking about zoomai so zoomai is a chinese iot osent search engine that allow user to grab public data from exposed devices and web services in order to build its database it uses wmap and xmap and then run extensive fingerprinting against all the information found ultimately presenting it to users is a filtered and curated way for easy visualization so it's taking little bit time so let's wait for loading sometime it may take some time because of some proxy issue so let's open in uh, tor browser let's connect to the proxy network so they are now connecting with the tor relay as you can see here Yeah, so now Tor has been loaded. So now let's check: uh, is it opening in Tor browser or not? It has been loaded in the background as well. So let's leave Tor. Sorry, buddy. Bye. So yeah, so this is the website of Zoomai. So basically, how a Zoomai can help you in your investigation in the surveillance process. so the information that you can find on the on the zoomai or something you can find the ip address interacting with network or host you can find out open ports on remote servers you can find out the total numbers of hosted website total numbers of devices found interactive map of users hitting different devices and vulnerability report so there's a lot of thing you can look for into zoomai 
okay so and much more thing as i told you so the public version offers access to a lot of divide uh, data but if you want to see what it can really do we suggest you to sign up for a free account that way you'll get the test the real power of OSINT 2 so you can use tempmail i guess uh, it is free so just uh, use a tempmail and this will be going to help you a lot in the surveillance part so just give me your feedback how's your experience with jumai if you want a detailed video detailed tutorials on jumai then comment in the comment section we'll be bringing on jumai as well now the next tool that we are having is called oas amas yeah here you go this is the github repo so oas amas is uh, is probably one of the best reconnaissance and network mapping tool in the market. It is widely used for the network discovery, DNS enumeration, and general attack surface mapping tasks with a varied set of techniques with a heavy focus on intel gathering and data scrapping on HTTP, SSL, TLS, and DNS protocol. And yeah, if that's not enough, it also provides API integration with popular cybersecurity data services such as security trust api that i told you in the first part i believe so as here you can see it's showing in-depth attack surface mapping and asset discovery so this is very much helpful guys you can use a mask this will um kind of uh, this will perform a network mapping of surface attack surface and external asset discovery using a open source information gathering and active reconnaissance technique so I told you how you can use just click here just click here if you're using Linux open your terminal type git clone now paste the link press enter then you'll be able to copy this particular folder at a particular path like right now I am at home directory so it will just copy at home directory after uh, making this file available at your uh, directories what you can do you can go through with uh, uh, here you can search for the what you say executable file so here is the installation thing how you can use you can also use by let me see if it is yeah it's already in Pareto so if you want to use you can directly uh, click on a mask from here and it will get executed into your terminal most probably with Kali Linux and Pareto OS MS comes with pre-installed stuff let's see loading or not yeah it's already installed in the parrot os i already put up a tutorial on parrot os update if you have not watched till now then you can go to our youtube channel and check out from there as well so yeah a mass is pre-installed you can use a uh, snap install ms as well sometime apt will also going to work apt install ms so yeah here's the thing a mass intel a lot of lot more thing if you want to retrieve this then just comment it down i'll just give you insight about it so this is very helpful for the intel and all this relatable stuff now let's move to our next tool that we are having so next tool is ivr this is a very creepy name so this is a network recon framework so as we all know this infosec tool is frequently overlooked but it it has a great potential in boosting your infosec discovery and analysis process ivr e is an open source tool that built on a base of popular project like nmap mascan jdns and jetgrab2 it's a framework used these popular tools to gather network intelligence on any host they use a mongodb database to store the data so it's a web-based uh, interface make it uh, easy for both beginners and while infosec users to perform some actions and actions include passive reconnaissance by flow analysis from gcar argues as most probably it will do active reconnaissance by using genmap or nmap it will do fingerprinting analysis and these are the stuff that they can do and ivre is and can be installed by fetching the source code from their github repo as i told you in the previous or from third party repositories such as Kali Linux repo. So this is very helpful. 
I think this is a small demo. You can click here, it will run and it will tell you how you can use this stuff and more information about IVRE as I told you, whatever written over there. So just give it a try. Sometime it may help you a lot as well. It seems very cool. <laughs> That's it. I'll just put it on my wallpaper. So now the next tool that we're having is MetaGo. MetaGoFill. MetaGoFill is uh, basically information or is a great Intel reconnaissance tool that aims to help infosec researchers, IT managers, and red teamers to extract metadata from different type of files such as doc, PDF, and much more. So how does it work? This is very important. Yeah, it comes pre-installed with uh, Linux, Parrot, or most probably Linux. So this is a command that you can use. You should have to uh, justify the argument. You can use uh, whatever you want. Minus edge is for help. E for dealing like uh, meta go fill minus edge. You can click this command to get a, a lot more input how you can use and how you can use this stuff. So basically this app perform a deep search on search engine like Google focusing on this type of files. Once it detected such a file, it will download it to your local storage then proceed to extract of its valuable data. Once your extraction is completed, you'll see a full report with username software banners, app version, host name and more. Available resource for your reconfigs. So MetagoFill also include a number of options to help you filter the details and type of files to search for, refine the result and tweak the output among many other useful features. So this is very helpful. I recommend you to use this tool. Just go with the practical stuff. Just try on your system. Now the last tool of this series is Exif tool. Exif tool be like, अरे मेरे को तो तू भूल गया था भाई, but you are here. <laughs> so exif tool. Exif tool is a very important tool if you are using Linux, if you are into um, meta text tracks, and if you want to get the meta data, then exif tool is very much important. So exif while a, like let me clear the point about uh, what is exif tool so while a lot of OSINT tool focus on data found on public files such as pdf doc html sql there are other tools that are especially designed to extract critical open source intelligence data from image video and audio files so exif tool basically reads write and extract metadata from the files which may be exif gps xmp JFIP and IPTC and many more. It also supports native files from a wide range of cameras such as Canon, Casio, Fujifilm, Kodak, Sony and many more. It also conventionally available on multiple platforms including Linux, Windows and Mac OS. So guys, uh, if you are using Windows, then you can download executable file from here. For Mac OS, you can download DMG file from here if you are using Linux then this is your gameplay okay so this is how you can download so basically so as we have gone through with 25 tools okay we have covered 25 tools in this series so I hope this series makes a very good thing for you and you have learned a lot of things and as you can see there's a lot of recon and intel gathering tool out there on a particular video, we have mentioned only 25 of the most popular OSINT tools. But there is much more to discover. So start digging around the test, other useful InfoSec tools as well. So if you learn something great stuff from this video series, then do your do comment, just give your feedback. And we'll be bringing the similar videos for you for this kind of stuff. So just drop it down your feedback, what kind of video you want. 
and thank you very much for watching this video take care of yourself take care of your country jai hind